Hello gamers, geeks and gays, my name is Serx and welcome back to the return of the Over the Din. Thank you for all of your wonderful comments and advice. I'm going to spend this episode recapping what we've gone through so far and just re-familiarizing myself with a few things. Um, as far as the comments go, thank you. It's been amazing. I love having the conversations with you. There's been some good bits of advice. Some things I feel are a little bit more in spoilery backseat territory. I will always take on constructive criticism, however. But there are going to be a few things that I'm probably not going to particularly change because this is just how I play video games. Um, I'm not going to be taking notes because I love the chaos that ensues from doing so. Um, and I like figuring things out on my own as much as I can. If I ever get really stuck later down the line, by all means, laugh at me and tell me that I should have done it differently. Um, but let you know if I'm going to get into that territory, let me figure out that on my own. Um, I think that's the organic part of playing games like this. If I didn't have you, fantastic people, giving me help, um, I would struggle. And that's okay. I think that's kind of part of learning these games. And when you get to the end, it means a lot more if you've struggled through it to an extent. Um, don't get me wrong. I will probably ask you though. One thing I am going to take on board, however, is you guys did definitely suggest that I start paying a little bit more attention to the world that I'm in. And I do pay attention to it. I have been um, noticing quite a lot of little things, but maybe not enough. There's a lot of stuff in this that has been put there intentionally. And I need to acknowledge that and I need to have a look through it. So I'm going to go back through and I'm going to look through... all the little bits we've gone through so far after i've done this <laughs> completely derailed my own plan already Why did I? Oh, God. God almighty. Right. Hello, you. Why is the music so jovial? Feels like Christmas. Oh, my God. Right. Let me let me try familiarize your face again, because I'm terrible with faces. Yeah, up at the back somewhere. Cool. I need to go see what's going on around here. When they said they, like they're they're making for you know the whatever, I I thought it was gonna be people, like they were being boarded. I mean they have been boarded. They have been boarded by maybe more than just a big crab. Why is it all happening off the Canary Islands? in the port walk so this person has been shot i couldn't figure out who has been who's been doing the shooting yet though so we need to go around and have another look shot where is shot shot presumably by a gun don't know who this person is though um one thing uh oh my, can i really not how do i how do i get around there Oh, this is interesting because there's so little that I can see from here. I genuinely can't tell. All right, so who, it's that person there, I think. But I don't know how to get to them. This person's been impaled. Oh no, yeah, the... I don't can't remember what I ended up figuring out that you were going to be. Maybe like the butcher. This, I like, I like this segment. This is quite interesting because I can see 
so much, but so, so little. So they were right when they said they then, there's more than just whatever this horrifying spider crab is. Is that, hey up, were they, were they feet? Is there someone on the back of that thing? I can't tell if they're mandibles or if they're someone's feet. Has someone jumped on that thing? Because good on them. I would not have the balls to do that at all. I genuinely can't tell. Oh, is that someone riding it? How didn't I even notice that before? That's like... Someone with a spear. It's like a Nazgul. It's like a really wet Nazgul. What are you two geezers up to? You both look pretty shady. Right, um... Yeah, it's gonna be the one who's impaled here. I, I'm sorry, because now I feel like I have to pursue this. As much as I want to go back and recap everything, I feel like I need to know what's happening now. I'm gonna follow this. I'm gonna follow it. Complete 180 from my plan. As is the way. Don't, 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 don't. Come on, I know where it's going. I know where it's going. Just let me see the impaled person. Oh, wow. So, what? Or do I? I feel like I need to now. We can do a recap at another point. I need to know. I love how calm they were being about this. It looks like they killed one of the crabs, but yeah, I do like how... How calm they were being. I'll get you down. So this is the one who's doing the getting of the down. Is that the... that's the surgeon, I believe. Why is the music so borderline jovial? Okay, so I vaguely recognize your face. I've seen you standing about somewhere before. Right, okay. Thing is, I don't know if they were impaled by the, the thing, or if that is indeed there was someone riding the crab. So, I mean, their face is unblurred, so technically I should be able to figure out who they are. Right? Um, so, we've... I've, I've, I think that's the butcher. Personally, but I need to go back and listen to um, the bit when they're slaughtering the cow. I I think that's a butcher. That that looks to me like butcher's clothing. I have been a butcher's apprentice. More Sturk's law. There you go. Um, butchers love aprons, and there's not many people on here that wear aprons. I don't believe they're wearing their apron at this point. I don't think. Which is completely understandable. So let's have a good look around. So we've got the surgeon trying to remove the butcher. This guy is opening the door to get us deeper into the ship. Let's see if there's any other stuff going on around here. So... This is... Before he gets shot I think because they're still moving at this point they've not been shot yet 
they were impaled too. Okay, so that guy has been impaled roughly over here. They've come around here, removed the barb. They're going to come over here. And then by the looks of it, this is when everything is going to go terribly, terribly wrong for them. And they're going to be in the wrong place at the wrong time. Yeah, so he's very much still alive at this point. Betty wishes he wasn't. So... Is that the first crab then? Was there more than one crab? And he's washing the blood, I guess. Like, at this point, they probably think it's all done. They think they're safe. This guy is pale on something. That's like a blunderbuss. That's like a deck sweeper. Their faces are blurred, so I should know them. Their face is still blurry. Okay, okay, this is good. I'm. I need to pay more attention to that. Their face is still. To me, that looks a little bit blurry. I can't tell what's blurry and what's just pixels. Yeah, that face is a lot clearer. I should know who this person is as well. I don't know who these people are, and that's what's going to be frustrating for me. And I guess frustrating with you guys, so I do apologise, but we'll get there. This person again, I should at least be able to figure that out. Them. Is there anything else I can go look at yet? I mean, that blood got everywhere. Right, so... I need to remember to go back and do the... Say that I think that's the Butcher, and I think they've been impaled by... a monster. But... I just want to see what happens here, because this is... Presumably the death just beforehand. I mean, that monster... The crab does have, like, spines poking out of its back, I guess, so... Maybe it kind of shoots them? I don't know. I hate how many legs you've got. Ugh. Right, this one. So, this one. How did they die? So, they... Was spiked by a terrible beast. Yeah, there we go. Filled in for me. I think you're the butcher. I think you're the butcher. Let me. While I'm on that train of thought, let's go and see the butcher again. I'm pretty sure. Let's have a listen. If they're vaguely Irish. Are here. One swing. Get through the skull and stun her brain. I'll cut her throat when you've done it. Here? Yeah. Come on before she kicks up. Yeah. <laughs> That's the butcher. You alright there, sir? But <laughs> never been on a farm, John. Find your shoes now. And from this we can figure out who Charlie is then. And why I recognise them. That's Charlie. That's Charlie. Okay, we know that's Charlie. Um, yeah, I'm going to say that's Emil. They're English. Both of these are English. I don't know which one of those is speaking, though. That's the problem. There was only three people spoke then. There was only three people spoke. Right, while we're here then, let's have another look around. Don't know enough about you yet. Don't know enough about you yet, but I could probably... Try and guess. So we've still got some animals, we've got some pigs, we've got some chickens. Well, let's try and have a good... Long, hard look here. So yeah, I'm going to say Emil is that one because they've got the butcher's apron on.
Oh, actually. Did he say I'll slit a throat or we'll slit a throat? Which way around was that conversation? I'm gonna have to listen to it again, I'm sorry. <laughs> Yeah, so you just get my get the face right. Yeah, so it's surgeon. Yep, I was right. Right, let's go listen to that one more time because I need to have determined did they say I'll slit a throat or you'll slit a throat or we'll slit a throat? Because if it's I'll slit a throat, that might not be the butcher. Better here. One swig. Get through the skull in stone of brain. I'll cut her throat when you've done it. Here? Yeah. Come on before she kicks off. <laughs> you all right there, sir? What? Never been on a farm, John. Find your shoes now. Actually, I don't know. I, th I think I might just be overthinking this too much because there it looks... <sighs> I'm going to go off clothing. I'm going to say that one is not dressed as a butcher. You're dressed as a butcher. And I'm going to say you're the one at the back who's the Englishman. So you're looking dead at Charlie and saying, never been on a farm, Charlie. You're the butcher. I'm going to stick to that, even if it's incorrect. I'm sticking to it. We will see, won't we? Um, oh, that's the point. Can I go on to the thing and just determine who I think is different people? Because if that's the case, I'm I'm going to say you are a meal. Come hell or high water, you are now a meal in my head. Um. Now, was it? Are you Charlie? I can't remember. One of the carrots over this end was Charlie. Oh, good lord. That's why you all needed the, the water. Oh, Charlie. Oh, Charlie, I'm so sorry. I am so sorry. Okay, then, so... Who are you? Again, the music's so happy. Yep, so this guy's been spiked. Is that the same guy? I'm terrible with faces. I don't recognize his face for some reason. I've got face blindness for that one particular person. Uh, oh, wow. There's quite a few dead people. There was definitely someone else riding that thing, though. Like, my spooky Nazgul. Oh, I've already said that this is Charles. Um, They were burnt. I'm presuming it's the burning that did the killing. Yeah, and then they've stabbed the ring wraith. <laughs> So we've got you guys coming down to help. Don't know you. Don't know you. I do, I should know you though. Again, sorry if I've literally looked at that face today and gone, I know who you are. I just, I'll get there. You're possibly, you're one of the two who are helping doing the butchering. You're an Englishman. And I think you're just watching Charlie burn to death and being... I can't tell if you're exhausted or heartbroken or both. I mean, oof. this is before the Kraken. Bear in mind. So at this point, yeah, this is not good. 
I should know who you are though. Just probably based on your clothing. And then I'm presuming there's going to be another one off that end. Oh my god. Ah! Uh, we are. Uh, you're both. Oh no! The surgeon's assistant. Oh dear lord. I don't know why, but he just struck me as someone who would kind of survive most of this. You know, like, they just seem like quite a hardy individual. Oh, and then we've got, um, forgotten his name. I've completely forgotten your name. I know who you are. Abigail's brother. Martin. Martin? Maybe Martin. Was Martin? I'll check in a minute. Boy. What happened to you two poor fellas then? Well, I mean, I know you had your heads chopped off, but... Oh. I thought I need to move. Are you going to do a little loop-de-loop? -loop? Wow, that was not even a little loop-de-loop. -loop. That's the loop-de-loop. This, uh, the sounds in this one are going to be rancid, aren't they? Oh, dear lord. That is somehow worse than I was expecting. Oh. 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 Oh, I don't, I don't like this. Oh, so Charlie actually tries to burn it. so confused what I'm even looking at here. There's definitely some legs, but that's, that's a very tall gentleman riding a crab. Alright, who are you? Oh, you're Charlie's friend. I think you're Charlie's other friend. Yeah, surgeons, mate. Claude? Would you class that as clawing? I would class it as he was decapitated. I'm going to say Claude. Because it was. Hey! Clawed by a terrible beastie. Terrible, terrible beastie. Oh yes, look at that, getting more lines on our whatever letter that is meant to be. Can I go back, can I go back to where I was looking at, please? Uh, we're in Soldiers of the Sea. Uh, da, 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 da. Right, you were also clawed by a terrible beastie. Your face is unblurred now. Why? <laughs> what? Why did I just learn that I unblurred them? What did I? What did I learn? What did I learn? What did I learn? Is it the voice? I'm guessing it's the voice. But that still doesn't feel like a lot of info to go off with just a voice, you know? This is a deduction rating. Ah, okay. See, the game is teaching me stuff still. 
You all jumped the gun. It's teaching me still. I'm still in a tutorial. A high rating means that it... Oh, no. Focus on the easily to do side enemies first and leave the more difficult ones for later. I didn't catch that. So I was too busy talking. Ah. Uh -huh. Deduction ratings. Let me just read this again. This is a deduction rating. A higher rating means that it will be more difficult to do the person identity. Focus on more easily deduced identities first and leave the more difficult ones for later. Cool. So theoretically, I could deduce this person's identity. Um, that's actually really handy, that. That means that if I were to look at other people, then I could start to figure that out. So there's other people who are dead here. There are other people who are dead. Oh no, there's the butcher trying to save them. So that's that person. They got spiked all the way over here and they crawled that whole bloody way. Yeah, so I'm, you two are Charlie's friends and you're about to watch him get, you know, burned. Oh, good lord, there's a second one. Oh, good heavens. Oh, good heavens! Okay, one second, you keep hanging out there. Um, that's... I want to say Martin. Can't genuinely remember. So, this is the armory then. So, they're issuing weapons, which is fairly standard. This guy is opening that. Don't know why they want to get to cargo. Oh, right. That is haunting. These are my least favorite kind of crabs, too. Crabs as a whole don't particularly freak me out. Japanese spider crabs. I remember going to an aquarium once when I was really little, and they were in, like, a... a, a, a their enclosure had, like, one of those kind of... kind of concave domes over it. Um, so it made them look huge. And I remember walking in, and I was only like seven, and I just saw this colossal, long-legged freak. And I absolutely, I lost it. I absolutely lost it. Oh, my poor guy, I'm so sorry. You've also been stabbed. I don't know if that means that's lethal or not. You've got one a hell of a jawline. Wow. That one, I, I'm not supposed to know yet. Oh. God. Where could you be from? Have I said the wrong person is Persian? Have I said the wrong person as Persian? Where else could it be? Oh no, to be fair, that could be Chip Steward. Let's have a quick look through where else they could potentially... have a headdress like that. And also apparently these, these unknown ones, it's not that there's an unknown crew member, but um, these are just as like a, a placeholder, so if I can't quite deduce. Oh yeah, so it could be any of the gentlemen from India, I think. You look like you're trying, at least. Now, if I was playing Dungeons & Dragons and I said to the DM, yeah, this massive, you know, 12-foot beastie was coming down the stairs, it's killed dozens of men already with some unknown undead wraith from the abyss riding it. What am I going to do? If I said, I'm going to wait by the stairwell and surprise him. I don't wish death on any of these characters, but I hope this guy in particular rolls a one. <laughs> I just want to see that. <laughs> right. I hope they roll a one.
Well, let's go see what happens to this one. I mean, we know what happens. It gets spiked, but... I wonder if it's the beastie does the spiking or if it's the gentleman on the back doing the spiking. Oh, I forgot about you. Ah, oh, here we go again. Oh, I didn't know I could cancel it. <laughs> anyway. The American. <laughs> First thing the American tries to do is throw an axe. Uh. <laughs> sorry, sorry to my American viewers. That is very gun ho. I. I shouldn't be laughing. I shouldn't be laughing. I'm sorry. <laughs> hmm. Oh, why? Why are they on board? What are they doing? What are they getting out of this? Uh, and he said, come on, boss. I mean, I can say that they were spiked. I'm not going to commit to saying who it was just yet. Um, yeah, it thinks that I can't figure that out. Um, I would personally say that sounds like it was, an, it was an American. But I don't know how many Americans there are. So there's two. So there's Carpenter and Carpenter's mate. So whichever one was saying, come on, boss. It's the mate, and then the carpenter will be Mr. Smith. That's where my brain goes with that anyway. Could be wrong. I have been known to be incorrect in the past. Yeah. Yeah. I would say carpenter's mate, carpenter. Maybe. Don't actually know. And then whoever's already dead up here is Nick. Uh. So apparently it is quote unquote already done for Nick. So uh excuse oh, I don't like that. My arachnophobia is oh it could be any of these. Without Playing any kind of discrimination card, I don't believe you look like a Nick. Could just be the pixels, but I don't think you look like a Nick. I think you could be from elsewhere. You've been completely impaled. You could maybe be a Nick. Again, not convinced with the clothes you're wearing. You're not a Nick. You're just hiding, I think, at this point. Which, honestly... I think I would. I think I would. Oh, good lord. Anyway, guys, that's all the time that I have today. When we get back next time, I think we'll jump back into this. Actually, what we'll do first, let's just find who else is dead, right? I'm presuming it's going to be this one. Cool. I'll at least get this body on the main deck so we can go and look for them. Um, when we get back. But my, my guessing is those two that we just saw are the carpenter's mate and the carpenter. Um, I just love the absolute... That gentleman needs a wheelbarrow to carry around his balls. If his first instinct is seeing that, it's just, I'm going to throw an axe at it and hope for the best. You know? Oh, I love this game. 
it's growing on me. I've always enjoyed it, I think, since the beginning, but the more I'm playing it, the more addicted I feel like I'm getting to it. I just, I need to know more. I need to know everything. I love this. I will try and pay more attention in future. Um, but like I said, if I'm making mistakes, just let me make the mistakes. If it comes back to bite me in the ass, you guys can just laugh at me later. Um, it'll make it a little bit more fun for everyone involved. Thank you all so much for watching. However, I, of course, have been Sturk. So you guys have been incredible. And I will catch you all later for the next part in this grisly little adventure. <laughs>